In today's short joke compilation, we bring you 10 of our best jokes of the week, one after another. Our first joke is about a police officer breaking up a fight. A police officer was on patrol when he saw two guys fighting. He stopped to break up the fight and asks them to explain. The first guy said that it's his girlfriend's house and he is suspecting her of seeing another man. He decided to stake out the house. That's when he saw this guy around the house. The officer asks the second guy to explain. He said he was a burglar and that he was planning a break-in. The officer asks him to empty his pockets. He had a beautiful diamond ring and some tools. The officer confiscates it. The officer said that he will give both of them one chance. If he sees them in this area again, he will arrest them. They both left. Then the house's door opened and a beautiful woman asks, what's going on? The officer replied, nothing, babe. Your stupid boyfriend almost caught us. Here, I got you a nice ring. Our second funny short joke is about a genie being released. A guy was walking through the forest and he found a magic lamp in a pathway. He picks the lamp up and starts to rub the lamp as best he can and out pops a genie. The genie thanks the man for freeing him and offers to grant him three wishes. The man is ecstatic and immediately made a list of what he wants. First, says the man, I want a million dollars. The genie snaps his fingers and a briefcase full of money materializes out of thin air. The man is wide-eyed in amazement and continues, Next, I want a Porsche sports car. The genie snaps his fingers and a Porsche appears from a puff of smoke. The man continues, I have always battled a bit with the ladies, so I want to be irresistible to any women. The genie snaps his fingers and the man promptly turns into a box of chocolates. <laughs> now we bring you a short joke about a father having to explain the concept of being engaged to his young daughter. A young woman ran into the kitchen, practically vibrating with excitement. Dad, Dad, Mary just got engaged. Her dad, a man who could explain astrophysics to a toddler, looked up and said, That's great news. Did she show you the engagement ring? Yeah, it's ginormous. The young woman's little sister's brow furrowed. What exactly does engage mean? The father said, Do you remember that shiny new bike I promised you for Christmas last year? Her eyes widened. The red one. Precisely. Now imagine I give the bike in November. You knew it was yours. You fawned over it every time you saw it in the garage. But you couldn't take it for a spin until Santa delivered it, right? Her face fell. Wait, so it's like getting a present you can't use? Yes, her dad replied. But you can at least play with the bell in the meantime. <laughs> in the next funny short, we bring you a joke about Superman. Clark Kent have come to the end of his life and was on his deathbed talking with his wife of 60 years, Lois Lane. Lois said that she has something to confess before he leaves this place. Honey, she said, many years ago, I had an affair with Superman. Can you forgive me? It only happened one night, but I regretted it ever since. Clark, being very weak, took of his glasses and said, It's okay, honey. I am Superman. You never knew that I was Superman. So according to me, you were always faithful. Oh, thank you so much, Lois said. You don't know what a weight that lifts from my shoulders. I am so glad we got that out of the way. Lois can now clearly understand that Clark's memory is not what it used to be. You can lift another huge weight of my shoulders if you can, just before you go be Batman, Lex Luthor, and Aquaman as well. <laughs> In our next short joke, we have some of Disney's characters. Please go put on your pajamas, said this mother to her young son and daughter. The boy, always trying to find a way out, said. But Tarzan didn't wear pajamas to bed, Mom, and he was very healthy. The mother replied, You go do as you are told, as you haven't done your cores. I did say the boy. No, said the mother. Just because Pinocchio made a career out of lying does not mean you can try it as well. Pajamas, please. She now turns to her daughter. Not wanting to be outdone by her brother, 
The daughter immediately started by saying that Cinderella did not get into bed before 12. The mom replied, there will be no Cinderella in this house tonight, no sitting up till after 12. Pajamas, please. The mother, feeling exhausted, looks at the two of them and thinks to herself, luckily Snow White didn't come up. She lived with seven men. Now we bring you an old classic funny short. This joke is about animals getting intoxicated. The rabbit was walking through the bush when he saw a bottle of warm moonshine lying in the sun. He took a sip and immediately passed out. A little while later, the jackal came walking past, saw the rabbit lying there and the bottle of moonshine. The jackal think, before I eat the rabbit, I am going to have a sip of that moonshine. So he took a sip, but immediately passed out. Then the hyena came walking past, saw the other two and the bottle of moonshine and think, I am going to eat those two, but we'll first have a bit of the moonshine. Took a sip and immediately passed out. Now the lion came past, same story as the other three, and he also passed out. Sometime later the rabbit woke up, have a look around, and saw the other three passed out. He thinks to himself, I am never going to drink again. I just become too aggressive. <laughs> In the next short joke, we have a guy getting very bad news from his doctor. The atmosphere hung heavily in the doctor's office as the patient left the room. The doctor just gave the patient very bad news. The patient has rabies, and there is nothing that the doctor can do for him anymore. The doctor has given the guy one week to live. Outside, in the waiting room, he asks for a pen and paper from the receptionist, and he starts to write a list down. The doctor, having a chat with the receptionist, said, Poor guy, he only has one week left to live. Looking at the patient writing, he said, He must be writing his will now. The patient writes a list of names. His wife, his mother-in-law, his boss at work. The list continuous. When finished, he handed the pen back to the receptionist. He turned to the doctor and spoke. Let me get going. I have my bite list complete. <laughs> the upcoming short joke is about a phone bill that's way too high. In this funny short, this father storms into the house, very angry, while carrying a phone bill. Who spent so much time on the phone, making all these calls? The father bellows. It's not me, because I make all my calls from work. Not me said the mother. I also do all my calls from work. Their 15-year-old son, now very alarmed, starts to think of all the online gaming he's been doing when everyone is asleep in the evening. He is now trembling with fear. Dad, I haven't touched a phone, is all he can get out. But then the hero arrived, their ever-reliable housekeeper. Why all the commotion, she asks. The father said, the phone bill. You haven't been using the phone of late now, have you? The housekeeper replied, Oh yes, I do, just like everyone else. I also use the phone from work. <laughs> now in this funny short, we bring you a radio station competition. This very conservative English radio station was running a competition. They had 10 giveaway prizes for 10 couples to win. These were a boat trip to a tropical island, all cost paid. However, you had to pass some very basic criteria you must be fluent in English. Secondly, you must have a fixed job. Lastly, you must be a person with sober habits. No drinkers will be allowed to enter the competition. A guy with a very broken English phoned into the radio station. He said, I am not fluent in English. I drink, but only beers, and quite a bit when I have the opportunity, and I am currently out of a job, but I am still looking for a job. The radio presenter asks, but why are you calling in? You clearly don't qualify for our competition. The guy said, I am just calling to say that I will not be available for the trip. <laughs> just before we bring you our last short joke of the day, we would like to thank you for watching our short funny jokes. These shorts are published daily. If you like this compilation, then please press the subscribe button and the bell icon. This way you will be notified for our following release. Have a nice week, here goes. This nun, Sister Shaw, wakes up one morning feeling awesome. On her way to the kitchen, she ran into Sister Mary. 
Sister Mary looked at her and said, I see you got out of the wrong side of bed. The nun is puzzled, but she ignores Sister Mary's comment. Later that morning, as she was on her way to meet with the Mother Superior, she passed another nun, Sister Leslie, who was working in the garden. Sister Leslie said, See, you got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. When she arrived at the Mother Superior's office, she said, Mother Superior, I am feeling awesome this morning, but everyone keeps telling me that they can see that I got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. The Mother Superior gave her a quick look over and spoke. Sister Shaw, it's because you are wearing Brother John's shoes. 